What's going on everybody? Long time no see. Um, I've been really busy. Been busy planning, thinking, crunching numbers, uh, doing a lot of research. But uh, one thing I am going to jump into and just to dabble with and see is hauling cars. I had a person bring up to me that I might want to check it out because of where I live. Said I probably live. He said that I more than likely live as far as he could tell, right in the middle of several auction lanes. Uh, so I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, I, like I said, I did some numbers. There was a few things that were working out in my favor. And uh, even though it pays less, it costs less to run because it's so local to me. And this, this may be a thing that would put me home nearly every night and every weekend, uh, which would change things a lot. So let's see how this rolls. We're going to go ahead and load up this truck right there. We're going to go pick up a Ram to go right behind it and uh, take these to Nashville. So, let's get to it. too easy all oh, within uh, 20 miles of my house there's two trucks down going to the same place and uh didn't even take two hours it's great I <laughs> get used to this okay so let's talk about this now um, why cars that's really location based uh, and interest a little bit I've never hauled cars not exclusively I've never been in the automotive transport I've hauled some here and there I've hauled some vehicles uh, military and you know the equipment stuff as far as wheeled and track stuff goes but still strictly automotive uh dealerships auctions stuff like that uh, a little bit of residential i've dabbled in but i've never been in that game and it's really interesting to me because it's a whole different topic and there seems to be a lot less uh concern there is some there's a lot less concern though about mc age and the age of your authority uh, as far as being able to work with certain places so this has been really interesting and I'm still actually using the 40 foot, which limits me to uh, SUVs and pickup trucks. Um, a couple of, it, it depends on the size of the vans. I haven't tried to haul like a transit van yet or anything like that because I'm still kind of worried about the clearance angle on that. Rather than to make this trailer, uh, rather than to accommodate that to this trailer, spend more money on this trailer, I am actively searching for um a three car wedge so if anybody has one for sale uh let me know because i'm i'll be interested in that uh, i really want the dual tandem uh 10k axles i really like to steer clear of the of the the triple seven case but uh if anybody if anybody knows anybody or 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 you yourself are selling one let me know in the comments uh back to the car thing why it's down to location I am within a 300 mile radius of five major auto auctions and that's just the auctions that's the, the dealerships are countless uh, as with most but it comes down you know why why foam why steel why why this why any commodity that most truck companies or carriers uh, are geared towards and usually it's just based on what comes out of where you live what's readily available on a regular basis uh, that can either get you out of the house or take you home in my instance really nothing not not in the flatbed world especially not in the hot shot world um, that's from what I found there may be stuff out there I haven't found it uh, I know the reefers pretty big where I'm at um, tanker not too far from where I'm at cars 
are readily available and your customer base is um, you know the, the population of the United States and then some so I'm really looking forward to getting into this a little deeper but I am starting this it's kind of why the videos have died off I know that uh, but the content may not come up doing cars because I mean what's there to show you know pull a car on a trailer again and again and again nobody wants to see that um, so this will probably give me a, a better uh, window of free time to really focus on how to get started, what you need to have, legal this, legal that, and um, just technique and stuff like that. And still, you know, far as far as the freight base goes and anything like that, but general hot shot, you know, it's, I, I wanna kind of spread across the board. I wanna see what I like, what, you know, because I mean, this is what I'm, I'm steering towards right now. It interests me uh, so far, I, I really like it. Maybe it's because it's new and exciting or whatever. It's not really exciting, it's super easy. But, um, it, it's it's nice it's a nice change of pace and uh it, the, the hunt is fun it's really fun because it's uh like i said where i live i've got so many options so uh that's why cars it's really based on where i'm at personally but it's more so based on where i'm at geographically uh in in the industry of that so We'll get more into this and I will start breaking down the, con uh, I've gotten several, um, so I've gotten more feedback as far as uh, where to go as far as uh, future content goes. And still still debating the whole giveaway thing. Haven't got much feedback by that, but it's, uh, it's all right because I've got some ideas anyway. So uh, we'll keep shooting to 5,000. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not a crazy milestone. Nothing really is really gonna happen, it's just a, it's a mid-range number. It's pretty big. It's I, I still can't believe it. Um, but you know, I, I want to get back to you guys for for taking time and watching me and and all that. So uh, switching to cars, possibly. Uh, it, this my I'm gonna keep this trailer for now, but I may sell it at some point too. So uh, stay updated for that. We're gonna see how this goes. See how I like it. See if it pays the bills or not, and uh, what I can turn it into. So that's it guys, that's the update. We'll see you next time.